Hi, I'm Dave Hirsch and I'm a trial lawyer. I'm one of the members and leaders of the Berg Simpson, Eldridge, Hirsch, and Jardine Commercial Litigation Department. I try civil cases and today we are going to discuss a question that I get regularly, which is, what is ADR? You may have heard that term. Uh, ADR stands for Alternative Dispute Resolution, ADR. One of the important things to remember about ADR is that it's not the same as going to court. ADR is designed to help you resolve your cases before you go to court. It includes mediation or arbitration and then some other things. But the two large ones that we often talk about when we say ADR are mediation and arbitration. Sometimes people are confused about the difference between mediation and arbitration, so we're going to talk about what happens when you mediate. The key to remember in mediation is that it is a negotiation to try to reach a compromise. It's not a decision that's rendered by someone else. So let's take for an example. If you have a case and you decide that you're going to mediate your dispute, you would select a neutral, a third party, doesn't have a dog in that fight, who would help the parties negotiate to an agreed upon resolution. Anybody can mediate a dispute at any time. You can mediate before you go to court. You can mediate after you filed your case. You can even mediate after the case has been decided by the jury. Mediations involve a third party, a, a neutral as I said, and so that usually has an expense involved. And so the parties will have to pay for the time of the neutral. One of the things I've found is that a skilled neutral is able to help parties overcome some of the objections that they have and reach a point where they can agree on resolving their case. There are three things that are really important in a mediation that are real advantages. Number one, it's confidential. Number two, you have control. And number three, it involves compromise. It was alliterated, right? That was pretty good. All right, C confidential. Mediations are confidential. It's not like a decision that you have in court because you're going to be in a private place with private parties and you can agree to keep it confidential. Number two, I said it has control. And what I mean by that is when you go to a decision maker, whether it's a jury or a judge, you lose control. Someone else is going to decide about your case. But in a mediation, the parties have control over deciding what they're going to do. Oftentimes, that's a very appealing thing. The third important aspect of mediation, it involves compromise. I have been involved in thousands and thousands of mediations in my career. It always involves some sort of compromise. The best uh, compromise is one where both sides are a little bit unhappy. You may have heard that saying. Mediation allows a, an atmosphere where you can work together to try to compromise your disputes. All right, so we've been talking about mediation. What's an arbitration? Well, first of all, an arbitration is one where there is a decision maker. So it's kind of like court in that you go to the arbitration, there is an arbiter, an arbitrator, both are correct terms, but an, a person or people, a panel, maybe three of them, who make a decision. Both sides present their case to the arbiter, and the arbiter makes a decision, finding in favor of one side and against the other side, or making a determination that's somewhere in the middle. Obviously, because it's not in court, there's cost involved, so you're going to have to pay for the time of the neutral who's going to make the decision. Number two, you have to select someone you have a lot of respect for because both sides are going to be stuck with their decision. And thirdly, you have to relinquish that control of negotiating and controlling your own case, and you give it to the arbiter who makes a decision, calls the ball, calls the strike, decides, how the case turns out. You can have a court trial, a public trial, or you can engage in some sort of ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution. One of the great things I love about ADR is that you can be creative. What are really the issues that are bothering you? So if you go to court, you're limited to the legal issues. But when you go to ADR, there may be a lot of issues that surround your case, the ongoing relationships of the parties, issues that wouldn't necessarily be legal issues but are very important to people like maybe apologies or agreements to cooperate in the future. Those are things you can't get in court but you can get in ADR. Now, 
I think that every party to a dispute should engage in some form of ADR, whether it's a mediation or even a full-blown arbitration, before they go into court to make a determination. But in any event, hopefully that answers some of the questions you may have about what is ADR. Again, my name is Dave Hirsch, and if you have a legal matter that I can help you with, please feel free to contact me. You can call me at 303-792-5595, or you can reach me on the web at bergsimpson.com. I'm Dave Hirsch, and I'm a trial lawyer.